Oh, hey everybody, it's me, I Sorrow Productions, back at it again in some Hearts of Iron 4. I actually got a really cool idea the other day to, to see what would happen if I just make the world look really bad. Do some good old fashioned border gore. Wait, wait a second. Did somebody, did somebody already do this idea? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I guess. Uh, one sec. Somebody touched my spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Remember to leave a like on this video, it's what Velfisk would have wanted. <laughs> uh, F in the comments again, because rest in peace, Velfisk. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Sorry, Velfisk. Have you ever really wanted to roleplay as a true Italian, but the game's been limiting you for too long? Well, don't worry, because this video is definitely for you. First things, Ethiopia? Damn, they're too strong for me. I'm pulling out. Vi what, what about victory in Africa? That you're gonna need that for your focus tree? Uh, no, my friend. I won't need triumph in Africa when I have failure in Ethiopia. Oh boy, it's everything I've ever dreamed of. It's just like one of my Italian animes. Oh, now the Ethiopians are off our back and I'm c completely safe from them, we can do the Italian thing of switching sides so hard, you're on the other side of the fucking room. Oh no, somebody touching my fascism. Whilst we still are fascist, at least we won't have someone leading our country with a stupid net. Oh, I'm Berto. Ally with the Germans only to switch sides halfway through the war when you've been beaten? Pfft. Hell no, give me that real shit. <laughs> That's right, switching sides on yourself so hard you lead your country into a civil war all over something silly like, what's fascism? What's communism? I don't even know. Oh, those fascists, they're stupid. They left me with the only tank divisions in the entire goddamn country and boy are they some goddamn good tank division. Oh my god, what the fuck were the Italians doing? We've got more fucking cavalry than we do tanks in this goddamn tank division! Oh, my superior horse tanks have pulled through and we've managed to beat out the fascists and become the new Italian Union state! Now it's time to violate neutrality! Oh, why does Antonio look suspiciously like our last fascist leader, Umberto? Are you switching sides on me there, Antonio? I'm on to you. Well, I'm confused, I sorry. Didn't you do this exact same strategy in your Italy is overpowered game? Where, where exactly are you going with this if you're not doing border gore or Italy is overpowered? What is going on? Oh, don't worry, little viewer. Everything will become clear as soon as I enslave the Swiss and make them create delicious but overpriced chocolate at a great price. No, no, you see, you're doing it again. You're just gonna, you, all you're gonna do is you're gonna immediately capitulate France with paratroopers and you're gonna do the same thing to the UK. And that, wh what's the point, I sorry, you've already done this. God, God damn if you are, can't you? Oh, well, I did, I did just do that actually. For, a lot of people think paratroopers should be fixed, but honestly, why? It's the best thing fucking ever. I've just paratrooped 40 fucking guys into the UK and now they're about to fucking die. Oh look dear, it's raining again. Oh no Margaret, that's not rain. 
That's just the Italians! You silly cunt. Oh, there the British are capitulated nice and easy, and now we get to get to the real fun. Here you go, I'll, I'll just take all the important provinces with all the resources. You know, I'll be fair, alright, say I'm using player-led peace conferences, I won't be, I won't just take everything. You, you know, why, why not, okay? I didn't take everything in the peace deal, because that's not fair. No, 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 because it... I'm communist now, so I've got to share everything because that's what equality is all about. Why can't Belgium own a bit of France? Why can't the Netherlands own Sudan? It's it's just one of those things where communism has finally really paid off in the world. The socialist state of Syria, right next to its best friend, the Italian Congo in Australia. It's this is what Trotsky, Lenin, and everyone who was part of that cool little club wanted for the world. Oh no, it appears that our fellow communist country Yugoslavia is in need of a bit of help because they're getting their ass rammed in by the Germans and if anyone's going to be doing any ass ramming around here, it's me and my inability to really do peace deals. Ah, oh, it must really fucking suck when you're getting navally invaded by the fucking Spanish. What are you doing, Germany? Even Poland's joined my faction. This is great. Oh, would you look at that? I've got a new canvas for my next masterpiece. Whilst other YouTubers might focus on just getting loads of different countries to all just have one state each, that's not what I'm about. I'm about creating art, a masterpiece, a picture that speaks to you. Oh yeah, this one's really fucking speaking to me and it's, it's kind of just saying help. I only have two chromosomes. Oh, and it apparently the Soviets don't appreciate my modern art, which is just a shame for them because I've got so many of my friends to now bring into this war and oh my god, it's lagging, jeez. I think, I think I've got a bit too many friends were ramming up the door. I mean, this isn't even a peace conference, and this already looks absolutely disca- Um, artistic. Artist- artist- It looks really artism. It's- I'm- it's really good, alright? That's all I'm saying. It's a good peace- I'm at war with a lot of people. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Oh, look at me. I don't appreciate communism over here. Productions, and guess what, guys? I got a brand new canvas to paint on, and whilst they might not agree that my art is tasteful, it is indeed tasteful, and just because of those allegations, I shall be painting you! You see, the Italians aren't that great at warfare, but something they are quite great at is making a mess out of things and painting. So if we combine those two skills together, we can create something astoundingly shit! I can definitely see this hanging up next to like the Mona Lisa or so. It's pretty damn good. I, I, I'm really appreciating it. I, I, this is what Border Gore is really about. Boy, it's time to wet that whistle because I've got another goddamn exhibit for you today. God, you give an Italian a paintbrush and a map and they sure as hell don't have a clue what they're doing. Somebody, please send help. I'm surrounded by fucking madmen. Oh, you thought I forgot about you, did you, America? Well, no, I did not, and it's time you got a bit of a cultural renaissance in your land. Ah, oh, I sure as hell have created the perfect ideal world. There's just, I don't, I can't think of anyone else that could ever top this. I think... I need to get a job as someone who makes borders for countries. Feast your eyes upon it and look at what I have created the ideal way for the United States and the rest of the world to look. For too long the world has been lied to about what exactly the ideal way for borders to look like is and I have finally found what the world should actually be looking like. What defines borders you may ask? Symmetry? Asymmetry? Rivers? Geographical landmarks? Cultural or ethnic ties? I don't think so. What brings and creates great borders and what the world should really look like is one Italian man who doesn't know how to paint, but boy, he's giving it a good old shot. Boy, I have created something astoundingly great. I, I can see this. I, um, yeah, if guys print this out right now, just print it out, put it in a frame, Hang it on your wall and in a few years, boy, it'll be worth something fantastically low in a, in a, yeah, it's, 
it, it won't be worth much. Um, but it might be worth more than a Dogecoin. So if you enjoyed this video and liked my take on what the world should look like when it comes to border gore, feel free to leave a like, hit a subscribe, tweet me your border gores on Twitter. My Twitter is linked down below. Feel free to send that over. And boy, I hope you enjoyed the video. But for now, guys, I've got to go bleach my eyeballs.